and welcome to Brems to Puzzles and to the sliced Sudoku sam uh, sandwich puzzle pack. Um, this is Deep Filled by Chili, one of the earlier puzzles in the pack, even though it's one of the later ones for me to record. Um, and yeah, this is designed to be one of the walks in the park. So one of the puzzles you can do to familiarize yourself with sandwich Sudoku. We've found that there's a lot of people who struggle with sandwich Sudoku, so we wanted to do quite a few intro puzzles for people to get themselves familiar with the concept. So I'm going to be going through some of the basics with this one. I'm not sure how hard this one is actually going to be, whether it's sort of one of the later walks in the park. I'll find out as I solve it. Um, of course, there'll be a link below to this puzzle as well as to the entire pack um, where you can try all of the puzzles even before the videos come out. But let's get straight into the puzzle, shall we? So what do we have? We have normal Sudoku rule supply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we have sandwich. The numbers outside the grid give the sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column. So in between the one and the nine in this column, there'll be digits summing to 26. In this row, there'll be digits summing to 27. In this row, digits summing to 24. They're the rules of the puzzle. Um, thank you, Chili, for this puzzle and for some of the other ones in the pack. I've solved um, at least one other Chili puzzle already, and it was amazing, but it will come later. I'm going to restart this puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, one of the tricks that is useful for solving Sandwich Sudoku is to highlight your ones and nines in one color and digits that can't be ones or nines in a different color. So I use yellow and green. I just find the contrast works well for me. Now, what can I do with that? The ones and the nines are in that are given are in rows and columns that, oh, this one does have it. So the 29 clue, we can't have the 29 go this way because 29 requires several digits. But if I was to put the one here, we'd have to put a 29 in a single cell. But how many digits are required? Well, this sees one and nine. So these can't be one or nine, same here. But how many digits are required to get to 29? <laughs> because you can't use the one or the nine in a single clue. So if you were to use three digits, the maximum would be eight, seven, six, which is only 21. So it can't be in any of the first three digits. If I was to use four digits, eight, seven, six, five only gets you to 26. So you need to use all of these five digits to get to 29. And these must, this must be the one. Now, the other concept we want to think about is the concept of outies. And for this, I'm going to go through some basic math. First of all, there is what does the sum of an entire row? Some people call this the secret. You can call it the rule of 45, whatever. But if you get all of the digits in the row of a Sudoku, they will sum to 45. All of the digits from one to nine added together is 45. But if you remove the crusts, which are always one and nine, I like to call it the bread, but some people call it the crusts. If you remove the bread, which is always one and nine, they sum to 10. So you're left with 35. So the possible filling, which are the digits two to eight, sum to 35. But we know the filling between the one and the nine in this row is 29. 35 minus 29 is six. So these two digits have to sum to six. Well, how can you sum to six? Because you can't use a one. So the minimum digits are two and three. So I have to increase one of those digits by one to get there. I can't increase the two or I'd end up with two threes. So this must be two, four. And these are the other digits. And this 29 clue is now done because as soon as you get the situation where you either have the outies locked in or the contents of the sandwich locked in, you've done with the clue. Okay, so what else can I see here? I'm not sure. Okay, so another thing we can think of is what is the, a 33 clue can only have a single, ah, here we go, a 33 clue. How do we do this? Well, we know that the outies on this, again, we're talking about what's on the side of the, the sandwich, a digit summing to two, but there's only one way to do that, a single two. So it must be either one and nine here and a two here, or a one and nine here and a two here. We know all of these digits are part of the filling, but there's either a two here or a two here. So this is the four, this is the two. And there's a two, because there's a two in one of those. So all of these are filled. A 31 is similar. The outies sum to four. 
and there's only one way to do four because the two digits, the minimum are two and three. So there's a four in one of those and all of these must be part of the filling because it's either four, then one, nine, or four and then one and nine. So there's a four in one of those. 26 is a minimum of four digits because 8765 is 20, no, 8765 is 26. So it's a minimum of four digits. So one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. This is always included, whichever way we go. It could be more than that, but it must be at least four. 27 is always at least five because 8765 only gets us to 26. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all three of those digits are included in the 27 sum. And we know the 1 and the 9 in this row now are here, and that can't be the 1. So one of these must be the crust of this 27 sandwich. So the 1 must be over here, and the 9 must be over here. And these are now green, and these are now green. Could have got that from the 1, 9. There is a 1 over here and a 9 over here. Similarly, there's a 1 or 9 over here and a 1 or 9 over here, but I'm not sure how that's locking things in for me. 28 is always at least... Well, it's, it's at, always at least 5, similar to the 27, because 8765 is only 26. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, or 1 2, 3, 4, 5, all... Sorry, one, two, three, four, five. All of those are always included. That can't be the nine. And the outies here have to sum to eight. Yeah, I could go one, nine, one here, nine here, and put an eight there. That could work. If I put a one here, the nine has to be here because I can't do a three cell eight sum without using a one. 33, there must be one down here and one up here. 32, yeah, we know that the outie in this column is a single three. Oh, right, that's tricky. The outside in this is a single three. So these must, and the outside here is a single two. So this must be a one nine, and this must be a one, oh, is that right? No. But they can't, they have to be in these. So these all become green. And now there must be a 1, 9 in here, and there must be a 1, 9 in here. Yeah, this is the 1. No, this isn't a 1 now. This is the 1, which is yellow. These all become green. That's what I got from that. The 27 clue... This can't be the nine, or I'd need three digits outside summing to eight, and that doesn't work because the minimum would be two, three, four, which I couldn't do anyway, but the minimum would be two, three, four, which is nine. So this has to be the nine. So this is green, this is yellow, that's not a nine. Okay, these are all green now. So the 31, this has to be yellow. Because if this isn't yellow, I'd have to put them here, and it's a zero clue, not a 31 clue. And we know the outies are a single four. So this is the four, and this is the yellow. And now there is a single outie in this column, so this is the yellow. This is the green, which is the single three, which is the outie. And that is this. This is green. So this is yellow. Sorry, three is my yellow color. So if I'm in the wrong mode, it writes the digit in. And there's a single outie in this column, which is a two. So this is now the yellow and this is the green. 24 is done in at least four digits. So there must be one in here and these are all green. In fact, this is green because the 26 has to go down. And this is a yellow. And these have to sum to 19. Not sure about that yet. Not sure about that yet. If this is a 1 or a 9, I'm broken, aren't I? 
because the minimum for a 23 clue is four digits. If this was a one or a nine, the maximum I could do would be three down to a one or a nine. And the maximum three could be is eight, seven, six, which is 21. That's not one or nine. That's nine. That's one. These are yellow. That's green. That's green. And now this has to be yellow. Again, got my color wrong. This is yellow. And one of these is yellow. So all of these become green and those become green. And I can possibly start coloring or numbering. Nine and one is a nine down here. But 23 can't be done in three. So that's not the nine. There's a nine down here. So this is green and this is now the nine, which is yellow. Which means this is one, this is nine. This is one, this is nine. This is one, this is nine, which means this is nine, which is yellow. This is green. And then this is the one by Sudoku. And then I can get rid of all of the green because I don't need them anymore. Okay, that was a really nice way of doing it. Now, what clues are done? This 31 is done because I've got the outies. The 32 is done. I've got the outies. The 33 is done. It's got the outies. The 28 clue here, the outies of the sandwich. So the filling that, or the, the possible filling that must be on the side sums to seven. So that's a seven. And that's 28 clue is now done. The filling that's on the outside of this must sum to nine. So this has to sum to nine because 35 minus 26 is nine. Well, it can't be one eight, it could be two, seven, three, six, or four, five. That's not helping me. And it's this, well, these have to sum to eight because these, so they can't be one seven, they can't be two six. These must be three five, and this three is telling me the order. That's the five, that's the three. And the 27 clue is done. And this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Need a little bit more. It's going to be this 23, isn't it? Oh, the 33 is done. The 26, actually, because these digits need to sum to nine. Oh, that's really important. Three digits summing to nine. In sandwich, that's really important because it's 35 minus 26 is nine and you can't use a one. So they have to be the minimum. They have to be two, three, four. And the three here makes this a two, four. The four looks down making that the two and that the four. So the 26 clue is done. Wow. So these have to sum to 11. So two, three, four is nine. If that's probably forced because I've got some restrictions on what can go there, but I can't use an eight. Yeah, I can't use an 8 in the sum, because if I use a, an 8 in an 11 sum, the other digits would need to sum to 3, and I'd need a 1, which I don't have. So there must be an 8 in the sandwich, and it can't go in any of those. So this is an 8. So these are 13, so these need to sum to another 11. Well, they're not 9, 2, they're not 8, 3. They're either 7, 4, and they can't be 5, 6. So these are 4, 7, and that tells me what these are. These are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And 2, 3, and 6 sums to 11. There's no 2 or 3 here. That's the 6, and this is the 2, 3. So looking for the 8 is what kicked it over. That's good. There's no 8 here. There's no 6 here. The 2, 3 is resolved by the 2, looking up, making that the 3 and that the 2. This is a triple. 5, 6, and 8. Cool. So the five in this box can't go in any of those. That becomes a five. And the fives look down, putting five in one of those two. Okay. These are three, four, and seven. And there's no three in either of those. So that's the three. The four looks up, making that the seven and that the four. The seven takes seven out of there. So this is seven or eight for the column. This is five, six, eight, yeah, a lot less useful. This is known though, that's a two. 
So one, two, three, four, five, three and six go into those. Okay. The outies on this column though, we knew needed to sum to 35 minus 26, which is nine, and that's a four. So that's a five, taking five out of there. And now this 26 clue is done. This is a really nice puzzle for teaching the concept of outies. I like that. Why have I got a, an X there? Make that go away. So this 23 clue, we know the outies in these cells need to sum to 12 because 35 minus 23 is 12. So those cells here have to sum to 12. If this is 7, 3, that would have to be a 2. If it's 7, 6, I've already blown the total. So that can't be a 7. A 7, 3 means 2, which doesn't work. 7, 6, this would have to be minus 1. That's a 4. That's a 7. And now these digits, these need to sum to 8. Well, 6, 2 doesn't work. So this has to be 3, 5 and that's a six. And now the 23 clue is done. That's really nice design. This is teaching the concept of outies really well. The five takes five out of there, making that a five. And we've done the sandwich. We're basically down to Sudoku now, which is good. That's cool. Okay. So two is in one of those two. Five, five puts five in one of those two, but this five is looking across saying not there. That's a five. Don't look at ones and nines. I've already done them. What's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The seven and the eight is looking down, making that the six. So I can take six out of both of those. The eight is looking down, making that the seven and that the eight. The seven makes that the eight, which makes that the seven, which makes that the six, which makes that the eight. I'm missing a single digit in this column, which appears to be a six. One, two, and four go into those. The four makes that the two and that the four. This is a triple. Two, three, seven. There's no two there. Oh, two, seven makes that the three, which makes that the seven, which makes that the two. This is a pair. One, two, three, and seven. And the three makes that the seven and that the three. This is the four that's missing from the column. And these are two, six, and eight. The six, eight means that that's the two, and I can take two out of those, and I'm not sure how to resolve that yet. But we'll get there. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight go in. The seven looks down, making that the eight and that the seven. The eight looks up, taking eight out of there. Okay, let's look at this triple. Well, that two actually does something. It takes two out of there and makes that a two. So this row is missing a six or an eight, which makes this a six or an eight, giving me a six, eight pair. So neither of these can be six, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, three. These are three and seven. And the three makes that the seven and that the three. And now this row is missing a six or an eight. And that can't be an eight. So six, eight, six, eight, six, which makes that the five and that the eight. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five go in. The five makes that the four and that the five. And this final box is missing three and six. And the six makes that the three and that the six. And that is a really nice resolution to a beautiful introduction to the concept of outies. I like this puzzle a lot. Beautifully designed, Chili. Love it. Um, unfortunately, this is one of the last ones I've solved, so I'm really not sure where I'm going to drop it into the difficulty range for the pack, but it'll probably go somewhere early. Not as the first puzzle, but definitely somewhere up at the top. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy all of the wonderful puzzles we have to come. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.